Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Today we're going to read a story called Chrysanthemum. And Chrysanthemum is a type of flower and it's also this little mouse's name. So because we're talking about flowers in this story, we are going to learn the sign for flower. So to make this sign, you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna boop, make it look like this. Just squeeze all your fingers together. So if you think about it, it almost looks like you have a little flower in your hand and you're going to move it across your nose, like so. Almost like you're smelling a flower. So the sign for flower goes just like that. So flower. And chrysanthemum is a type of flower. And because it's her name, you'll see it's a very long name. It actually, let's count how many letters are in her name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So she has a very long name. And when she starts school, you'll see that her name is very different than some of her friends. So we'll see how she gets through this. So we're going to start with reading Chrysanthemum. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was, Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner, and she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake, and she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect, and then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wrote, wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum, school! But when Mrs. Chud took roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. And you could see all of her classmates have very short names. Victoria has the longest name, but a lot of them only have three letters. Hmm, or even two. So it's probably a lot easier for them to write their name. It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Mrs. Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half of as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long, it scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, psh, said her mother. Your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. 
absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum was feeling pretty sad at school. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup, and an evening filled with hugs and kisses and for cheesy. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was extremely pleasant. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. These, these friends of hers are not being very kind. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, A chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in the garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought chrysanthemum miserably. Look at her face. Chrysanthemum looks sad. Victoria is not being very nice. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, psh, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum then felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and for cheesy. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flowers seemed to say. That morning, the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. And there's Mrs. Twinkle right there. Mrs. Twinkle led the students in scales. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was cho chosen as a dainty fairy queen. Rita was chosen as a spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important pixie messenger and chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. A daisy is another kind of flower. Chrysanthemum's a daisy! Chrysanthemum's a daisy! Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is long, said Mrs. Twinkle. 
Is it? said Jill. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Delphinium. Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed. She blinked. She beamed. She bloomed. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. So Marigold, Carnation, and Lily of the Valley are all flowers too. So now Joe, Rita, and Victoria want to be named after flowers as well. And then at the end of the story here, it says, Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as a, as a fairy princess. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl and of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. That is really cool. I love this story. So, you guys know our sign for flower. So today I'm going to encourage you guys to go outside and be looking around and see if you can find any sign of flowers growing. So I have a couple of flowers that are beginning to bloom out in my driveway. There's some crocuses around so check out and see if you can find any flowers outside. And then also if you're curious how long your name is, try counting the letters in your name. So my last name, Leach, L-E-A-C-H, has five letters in it, right? And my first name is Courtney, so Courtney has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y. Oh my goodness. How many letters do you have in your name? Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy Tuesday. Check out... Lucy Boots later. Lucy Boots is coming by. All right, guys. Bye, friends.